You know, every city has a history, some good things, some bad. And the city of Highland Park is no different in that, but includes the heartbreaking story of a 12 year old girl whose life was tragically cut short. 46 years later, the love for Edith Pershman remained strong. And as our Andrea Eisen found out, three local women are determined to keep her memory alive. This story started more than 40 years ago, right here in the city of Highland Park. How it ends, in some ways, is really up to you. Angela Lugo Thomas, Glenda McDonald, and Mama Shu are helping me take us all back in time to August of 1974. She was out delivering her newspapers and like every other child at that age was. Her father also was a delivery driver, so he was helping her with her route. Her name is Edith Pershman. Her sister and a family friend were in the car too, but it was Edith's turn to toss the newspaper at the next home. Before she could really throw the paper on the porch of this man's house, all these bullets rang out. The guy was um, thinking that somebody was out to get him and uh, he opened fire. Edith was murdered. She was shot 15 times. Her father was injured that day as well and passed away soon after due to complications. The gunman, Rudolph Acosta, turned himself in to police. He was charged with second degree murder, but he only served six years in prison for the fatal shooting. Just knowing that she was killed on my birthday, it just sends chills. Now, we get to why we are all standing together here. Because for so many years, these ladies have taken care of this neighborhood. But recently, one conversation with Glenda, the former city council president pro tem, shook Angela to her core. I've lived there 20 years and never knew until last month that this area is the city park and that it was named after Edith Parchman. The park was named after her in 1975 and this is what it looks like. Her sister, who unfortunately has passed now, she really was talking about how the park was abandoned and it was never developed. But it just felt important to me. I'm sorry. It's been 45 years since this park was dedicated to her name. I can't let that anniversary pass without putting a sign on it. So Angela got one, bearing Edith's name and the story of how her life came to an end. It just touched my heart. And Mama Shu, a Highland Park matriarch, the founder of the world-renowned Avalon Village, brought some children to the park to share and say a prayer and actually pour libations for her. And libations is basically, it's a process of just inviting and remembering the people who were here before, the ancestors, and just basically bringing their energy to light. Edith, we put respect on your name. We're building the park that was said to be built 46 years ago, and we're making it happen now. We're gonna need funding, corporations, community groups, local businesses, I want them to all come together to fulfill the vision of turning this into a beautiful space. So they're asking, hoping that you, all of us, become part of their village, the journey of bringing Edith Hirschman's Park to life. I just feel really strongly about making sure that Edith Hirschman is remembered and that we never forget. We want you to know that we will keep your memory alive as long as we possibly can. Continue to rest well, sweet girl, because on this piece of land, you are now in good hands. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Never to be forgotten. Thank you so much, Andrea.